Hi, I'm Chris Cardona, and welcome to our ultimate tour here at Perfect Day at Coco Cay, coming up on Talking Cruise. So today uh, I'm here on Wonder of the Seas and Perfect Day at Coco Cay, and I'm going to be bringing you an all-new tour. Uh, we first did a complete tour when uh, Perfect Day at Coco Cay just opened originally uh, a couple of years back, but uh, there's been some new things added. The uh, place looks a little more lived in, if you will. It's uh, more of the foliage has grown in, and uh, just wanted to give uh, a new update. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this. Now it is a pretty long walk from the uh, ship uh, all the way to the Welcome Center. Uh, there are trams though that you can get. There's some that pick you up right here that'll take you to just outside the Thrill Water Park. Um, and then once you get to the Thrill Water Park, they have uh, larger ones that'll take you uh, pretty much around the entire uh, Perfect Day at Coco Cay. And here are those vehicles, ready to whisk people away. Coming up to the Welcome Center over here. And you can finally see the perfect day at Coco Cay signage. You know you've arrived. Nice welcome from the Bahamian Junkanoo dancers here. number of places here uh, to enjoy and I'm going to take you around the entire pathway system and we'll see everything there is to do at Perfect Day Coco Cay. So the first thing you see when you uh, leave from the Welcome Center is Captain Jill's Galleon. Uh, this is one of the free activities here on Perfect Day at Coco Cay. It's a uh, splash water park uh, obviously themed with the Galleon. And it's a lot of fun. My kids enjoy climbing in here and trying to spray people. It's uh, really nice that Royal Caribbean thought of a place like this for the younger kids and also no additional cost. And right adjacent to Captain Jill's is the Thrill Water Park. And we're going to take you inside and all around. This is an extra ticket requirement here. So uh, you'd scan your CPASS card, that acts as your ticket, and you'll be able to get in and enjoy a day here at the Thrill Water Park. Not for the faint of heart, Daredevil's Tower features seven slides, each more thrilling than the next, as you make your way to the top. Start your domination of Daredevil's Tower with the Manta Racers, a pair of twisting slides. Move on to the Screeching Serpent with a 50-foot vertical drop. Tame the Green Mamba with its quick twists and turns. Challenge a friend on the Dueling Demons, twin drop slides that send you down 75 feet from a vertical position. And summon your courage to Daredevil's Peak, sending you from a dizzying height of 135 feet the tallest water slide in North America on a speed climbing ride as you spiral down the outside of the tower. With six slides designed for family fun, Splash Summit features Twister, a winding tube ride with single and double rider rafts, Splash Speedway, a four lane head first mat racer slide, and Slingshot, where up to four guests on one raft snake through a tube before literally hitting the wall then plummeting back down. With several fun and challenging elements like a series of floating pads, suspended ropes, and in-pool rock wall, the Adventure Pool has hours of water fun. As the largest wave pool in the Caribbean, you'll never have to wait to catch a wave. With a sloped beach entry and section with splash area, hang out on the shore or head out to the deep end and bob around in the endless waves. There's plenty of seating and umbrellas around the Wave Pool, Splash Summit, and the Adventure Pool. But for a relaxing retreat, 
rent a cabana including thrill water park access for up to six guests, complete with sofa, two sun loungers and chairs, a dedicated attendant, USB power outlets, and cooler stocked with bottled water. Cabanas are located around the Wave Pool and Daredevil's Tower. Pricing varies between cruise departure dates. And as I said earlier, I'm going to be walking around uh, the entire island today. Got to get those steps in. And uh, you can, though, for most of the path I'll be showing you today, you can take trams uh, from one of the sections to the next. And we just passed by Captain Jules Galleon here. It's definitely more comfortable to take a tram. You can hop on, hop off uh, at each station and uh, you'll be able to make your way around. It is, it is a sizable uh, destination. There is a lot of walking if you do what I'm gonna be doing today, but uh, you know, utilize what they have available. You've pretty much paid for it in your price of your cruise. Now over here we have Captain Jack's. This is one of the larger bars on the island and it has live music. And uh, just another tip here is that all of the bars on Coke OK will accept the beverage packages as well as if you're diamond and above and you get the Crown and Anchor coupons, you can use those here as well. Another great thing that Royal Caribbean did, thank you so much. And another thing that they offer here are wings and fries at Captain Jack's. Show you the uh, menu. So for uh, 10 pieces of wings, $7.95, you can get uh, buffalo, mango habanero, Caribbean jerk, and bourbon barbecue. And then they have crispy steak fries, $3, with a choice of uh, dipping sauces, tequila, lime, chipotle, parmesan peppercorn, that sounds pretty nice, sambal, garlic aioli, and honey mustard. I've uh, had these here and they are quite good. Now if you keep walking past the bar, now granted the bar does have a, a lot of shaded area, which is nice. Uh, but you can come out to this patio section, which has a great view of the lagoon over here. There you go. Okay, we're gonna leave Captain Jacks for now. We might come back uh, later. Uh, I'm going to walk you around the outside of the Thrill Water Park. If you're looking for some Coke OK souvenirs, they do have these pop-up shops uh, around the island. Nice place to get t-shirts and other trinkets. And over here, just behind Captain Jack's, is Splash Away Bay. It's the uh, same name as the ones that are on the ships, but uh, much larger. You can see tons of interactive fountains, we got two giant dump buckets. They look like they're getting ready to go. Fountains, sprays, and a whole climbing area inside there as well. Getting some of the spray here right now. Feels good though, it's very hot. And just like Captain Jill's Galleon, Splash Away Bay is completely complimentary for guests to enjoy. And then here, there is a series of slides. These are actually very kind of similarly themed to the larger ones in the Thrill Water Park. Uh, but these are for the younger kids and there's a little splash pool in the bottom as well. Not sure if you can hear this, but there is a rooster in here somewhere. <laughs> Perfect, right on cue. Thank you so much. And you will definitely not go hungry here at Perfect Day of Coke OK. This is the Skipper's Grill. It's one of two of the main buffets uh, on the island. And uh, they're still prepping for lunch. It uh, opens at 11.30 till uh, 3 p.m. But uh, great uh, variety. They have a taco station, uh, freshly made salads, uh, grilled meats, hot dogs, burgers, 
Uh, really, really nice uh, choices here and nice layout. I think this is by far one of the nicest private destinations as far as the food. I mean, food, amenities, there's, the list goes on and on uh, here at uh, Coco Cay. And it looks like they have started to open. So here we have french fries, chicken, corn on the cob, hot dogs, burgers, and the same down here. And then over here we have a sandwich station, which, uh, don't these look fantastic? We have cheesesteaks, Cubano sandwiches, and portobello and mozzarella. Here is the taco station, and they do make the tortillas fresh here. So you've got steak, you've got pork, chicken, Mexican rice, and beans. And then of course, you've got to have your salsa station. And here's the salad station. So potato salad, mixed greens, Caesar salad, tomato, cucumber, very nice. And look at this nice variety of fresh fruit. Looks like papaya, honeydew, cantaloupe, pineapple, watermelon, apples. And there are these complimentary beverage stations uh, around the island as well, and definitely here at the buffet. So you've got assorted juices, uh, obviously water. Hello, hello. Hi there, how are you? I'm good, sir, how are you? Good, thanks. Enjoy your cookie. Thank you. Ice water. Hello. And then another great thing is the soft serve ice cream machine. And again, all complimentary. So over in the far corner, you will find the bar. And again, all the packages as well as uh, diamond coupons will work here as well. And just like at Captain Jack's, there's lots of seating here along the lagoon. And a great view of the ships from here as well. There's a zip liner crossing the lagoon right now. So people do ask me all the time, do you have to uh, spend money when you come to Coco Cay? Uh, the answer is you don't, you don't have to. You don't have to be obligated to. Uh, there's plenty to do here if you don't want to pay extra for the water park, for the zip line, or any of the other activities. Uh, really, you can have your perfect day any way you would like, and that's what it's all about. And we're just going to go into Chill Island. And as the name makes you think of uh, relaxation, uh, they've got that. Uh, but if you want to do other things, you can do that too. But uh, this tends to be the more serene, I guess, if you will, laid back kind of place on the island. Now there is this bridge crossing over to Chill Island. Again, you have a great view over here of the Chill Lagoon. So from the bridge here, you can see Captain Jack's and Skipper's Grill, which we were just at. And then this is the spot to come and get a picture of the ship. There's this uh, section of hammocks tucked in over here right at the entrance to Chill Island. And uh, right underneath these trees gives you the shade that I think you'll be looking for uh, early or late in the day. Here's some more uh, Coco K shops. And then some other local Bahamian uh, souvenirs. So I'll take you down here to the uh, Chill Lagoon area. This is pretty close to the welcome area, so very easy to uh, get to by walking. So there is one of these zipline landing zones. It's a pretty decent slope uh, into the water, but it's quite sandy in this area. And uh, really nice, nice sandy bottom. So this lagoon is 
pretty much like a horseshoe. So you've got chairs and umbrellas wrapping all the way around. And uh, speaking of chairs and umbrellas, these are also included. There is no charge for um, any umbrellas or chairs, um, with the exception of the ones that are part of uh, any cabana rentals. And I'll point those out to you as we go along here. So right across from the Chill Lagoon, this is the straw market area on Coco Cay. So they have, uh, these are local vendors. This is not, uh, you know, quote unquote, the cruise line uh, vendors. These are people that are local to the area. But uh, they have a whole bunch of different souvenirs, the hats, the t-shirts, uh, trinkets and such, as well as some handcrafted uh, Bahamian things as well. Make our way through these vendors over here. And then we'll get over to the uh, Chill Island Beach side. So over here we have the floating mat rentals. Now these can run anywhere from $10 to $15 or more. Um, you do tend to get a better deal if you pre-book these on Royal Caribbean's Cruise Planner um, online before you even get to the ship. And that same goes for shore excursions, cabana rentals, um, access to the Cocoa Beach Club. So you can see with two ships uh, in port today, a lot of the chairs are filling up, but uh, not to worry, there's complete sections that uh, a lot of people tend not to get to because they might be a little further away. Uh, obviously, you know, right up against the ocean, the water, yeah, you might be hard pressed to find a chair later in the day. And something else they have a lot of here on Coco Cay are lifeguards. Uh, they have them stationed on the beach as well as out in the water itself to get people, help people that might be snorkeling if they get into any trouble. These over here are the Chill Island Beach Bed Rentals. Again, prices will vary, but check them out on the cruise planner. So welcome to the Wacky Seagull Bar. You can see he's left his footprints all over this place. And a uh, nice shaded spot. Enjoy a beverage here on Chill Island. Just steps away from the water. So Chill Island and Chill Beach are really about sunning, having fun in the water. Uh, maybe some snorkeling. Now here we are at the uh, second of the two buffets on the island. This is the Chill Grill located right here on Chill Island, Chill Beach. So there's a good amount of shade under these tarps over here and uh, you can eat at these picnic tables. Nice uh, hand washing stations right off the beach. You don't see that everywhere. That's a nice touch. The uh, high ceiling in here creates a nice uh, draft, so there's a good breeze flowing through here. And it's kind of wafting around the smells of all the food, which sounds smells really great right now, actually. And uh, very similar to Skipper's Grill, you've got the bar over here on the side. And the duplicate of uh, beverage and ice cream station and I think you'll find that the uh, restroom facilities are quite good at Coco Cay uh, very clean uh, they do uh, frequently go in there and make sure things are uh, clean and uh, ready to go there is no uh, requirement to bring a towel off the ship so you can come over here to the towel station and uh, swipe your card give them your room number and you're ready to go and grab one of these hammocks. Uh, they're kind of dotted around the island. And here we are at the Chill Island Tram Station. Like I said, you can pick these up at uh, different spots around Coco Cay. Complimentary, they run all day long. And look at this cool little beverage trailer over here. I'd like to have one of these next to my pool in the backyard. So looking at the map right now, we are right here. Uh, we're kind of at the point of uh, Breezy Bay at Chill Island. 
and uh, we're going to work our way towards uh, South Beach, past the Cocoa Beach Club into South Beach, and uh, then we'll uh, head into some of the sections in the middle, the, the pool, the up, up, and away, and uh, we'll check out the rest. Breezy Point is definitely a, a good name here because the wind just whips around this uh, point that actually sticks out here. And uh, this is where they have the uh, Jet Wave Runner Tours. I'll show you that up here. So this is the uh, hut to reserve excursions or check-in for ones that you've pre-booked. Again, highly recommend for you to pre-book them. And from these floating docks over here, you can access the uh, Wave Jet Tours. I've done one of these in Labadee. They're a lot of fun, um, either by yourself or bring a passenger along. And you can see there's a group of riders getting ready to go out. And from here you can also uh, book excursions like the kayak tour, water sports, swimming with the pigs. That sounds fun. And these are the Chill Island cabanas available for rent. So over here at Breezy Point, there is another bar. It's the Wacky Seagull Junior. A little bit smaller than the uh, senior, I guess, that we were at earlier. But what a view from here. And from here you can also see some of the over-the-water cabanas over at the Cocoa Beach Club. And again, as the name suggests, this is the uh, Breezy Bay Point. Still part of Chill Island. Alright, we're going to continue to head this way. And uh, that'll take us past the uh, Cocoa Beach Club and on to South Beach. So they have some sports uh, here on Coco Cay as well. This is the basketball court. And here's some more of those beach beds available for rent. And this is the uh, check-in for the day beds. This is the concierge. We'll help you get all set up here. And I can tell you, because I did check into this, each and every one of these on the entire island was spoken for uh, before we even got to the ship. And Royal Caribbean did a lot of grooming uh, to get this place in, in this shape uh, when they did the uh, revamp to make it perfect day at Coco Cay. And these over-the-water cabanas are part of the Cocoa Beach Club. And we'll take you on a tour of these and the uh, beach cabanas uh, when we go through Cocoa Beach Club. Now, if you want a quick but still satisfying uh, bite to eat, uh, you can come to one of the snack shacks on the island. And uh, these are really a great choice, uh, very popular with uh, my kids, uh, but I like it as well. But they've got burgers, They've got chicken sandwiches, crispy chicken sandwiches, beef hot dogs, some salad options like Caesar Greek, uh, mozzarella sticks even, french fries, and then they have funnel cakes, yes, please, uh, brownies and chocolate chip cookies. And again, all complimentary. And here is yet another bar. Who's keeping count? And you got some more activities over here. Um, I like these uh, giant billiard uh, games that they have. I've seen these on uh, Odyssey of the Seas and other ships as well. And of course, it wouldn't be a beach without a game of beach volleyball. So here we are at the entrance of uh, Cocoa Beach Club. Come along and I'll take you on a tour. 
So when we first came in, uh, we met Thalia and she uh, helped us with our lunch reservation. Uh, so that's something you want to think about when you get here is make sure you have a time spot, uh, spot booked for your lunch. So I'm here by the resort pool and it's very nice. We're infinity edge overlooking the water here in the ocean. And uh, depending on what time you get here, there are these really nice uh, two person, possibly even three person beds that do have umbrellas. These are not an extra upcharge, they're actually included. So uh, yeah, definitely try to get here early in the morning and uh, snag one of these if you can. And in addition to this sort of uh, deck area here, you've got these beautiful sandy beaches, tons of beach chairs with umbrellas, and these are all included in the uh, standard day pass, which is what I have here today. Here's the bar here at the Cocoa Beach Club. Poolside, ready to give you refreshments. As I said before, this is an infinity edge pool. You can see here how it slopes off right towards the beach area. Let's take you down to the water now. It's very nice colors, different shades of blues and greens, as you would expect in the Bahamas. Royal Caribbean uh, spent a lot of time and I'm sure a lot of expense uh, to have this place look as nice as it is. And uh, I know every day they are continually grooming it to make it ready for uh, new arrivals. And uh, water's just beautiful, crystal clear. Uh, if you might catch a glimpse of a lemon shark, they've got lemon sharks here, they've got rays, uh, needlefish. Uh, so. If, you're into that sort of thing, it's just actually a pretty good place to do some snorkeling. So it's time for lunch here at the Cocoa Beach Club and we're gonna check in and uh, I'm sure have a great meal. Once again, the street family, please meet at the Chill Island Medical. Thank Very you. nice and cool in here. So this is the menu at the Cocoa Beach Club and this is an included dining with your um, day pass or with one of the over the water bungalows or uh, some beach bungalows. So you've got some nice starters there. Entrees. And uh, yes, there is uh, Bahamian lobster on there. And then of course some desserts. Uh, that banana, Bahamian rum cake sounds pretty nice actually. How is that for a spread? And that's just the starters. So basically I got everything on the starter menu uh, from the shrimp and the fresh ceviche, and then over here the Mediterranean mezes with uh, baba hanoush and tahini and uh, hummus and uh, tzatziki and some pita and some vegetables for dipping. So I ordered uh, the Bahamian lobster sandwich as my main and um, it looks very crispy. It's been battered and uh, deep fried, nothing wrong with that, and it's served with some uh, French fries, which look nice and crispy, and uh, this looks like some sort of a slaw over here. So, I'm gonna take a bite into this. Uh, this has just been a wonderful meal so far. How's that for a surf and turf? Just steps away from the surf. Uh, I got a nice Caribbean lobster here and a filet. So, really, it doesn't get much better than this here at the Cocoa Beach Club. So when it comes to private cabanas here at the Cocoa Beach Club, you do have a couple of options. This is a uh, shoreside uh, beach cabana. And uh, as you can see, it is definitely right on the beach. Beautiful few steps and you're into the water. And uh, as you can see, it's a very substantial structure. I believe these are good for up to eight people. You do have four loungers and uh, you'll, you'll arrive with the towels already laid out for you. Um, you do have a fridge here that is fully stocked. Now this is not complimentary. Uh, this is a uh, you know, purchasable uh, items in here and you sort of see the pricing there, but uh, definitely all about convenience. If you want to pump your own tunes, it has a Bluetooth enabled system where you can plug in and uh, listen to the tunes that you want. 
and uh, this little sofa set here and there's even a lockable storage in here so you're all set to go if you want to leave a couple of your valuables when you go wandering around or into the water so uh, these are I believe there's 10 or 12 of these and uh, you want to definitely book these early they do go very quickly on the cruise planner here you also have a pop-up cooler which can also be used as a table uh, so definitely check out these beach cabanas here at the Cocoa Beach Club I don't think you'll be disappointed especially if you want the close access to the beach and you're not getting any closer than that now if you want to make your day even more perfect here at the Cocoa Beach Club they do have these over the water cabanas uh, they are the ultimate in a chilling out time here on uh, Coco Cay. I mean, you have your own little uh, cabana, not so little, uh, umbrellas, chairs. How about a water slide or a slide into the ocean? That's pretty incredible. And uh, of course, amazing attentive service for drinks, food, whatever you need here at the Cocoa Beach Club. So to get to the overwater cabanas, um, you do have this uh, bridge sort of boardwalk here. And as you can see, it splinters off into all these different individual over the water cabanas. So you really have that sense that you're away from everything because you pretty much are here. And that's wonderful. Okay, so we have arrived here to what is probably the ultimate spot for you to hang out at the Cocoa Beach Club or on a perfect day at Coca Cay altogether. This is an over the water cabana. And let me just say, wow. I mean, you have the, you have the shade cover for certain, but it's really all about this, this dock area here at the back where if you wanna just jump right off into the water, you can do that. You want to hang out over here on this uh, mesh screen part over here you've got that too but what really interests me and I know it would definitely interest my kids is this cool slide right here that's going to take you from the back of your cabana all the way down sliding right into that beautiful clear water below that's just fantastic and just nice Nice weather today. It's windy, but beautiful, beautiful skies. Uh, so here they have a very nice sitting area. And I love the fact that there's like no walls. I mean, the wall is the ocean right here. This is what's behind you. It's completely open, but you still get the shade from the structure itself. But there's really no walls uh, to uh, sort of get in the way. You also have some floats uh, provided for you. There is the fridge, but the items again are at a charge. Uh, there is a sink here. I don't in case you want to wash up before you eat because there is a dining table here and another perk of being in one of these over the water cabanas is that they will actually bring you food. So you can get all the food that I just enjoyed at the Coco Beach Club restaurant and you can actually have it right out here on the back of your over the water cabana. Just to give you a sense of how awesome this space is. I mean it's just incredible to be out here you can feel the waves floating underneath and it's just a nice sensation i really don't even know that i'm still here at coco Cay. it feels like i'm somewhere else all right this way to south beach now south beach is pretty much uh, removed from most of the uh, high-spirited uh, things to do here on Coco Cay, uh, but that's actually a really good thing. And uh, as you can see, there's a tram coming up here. So no need to walk all this way. And we're getting closer. So over here at the entrance of South Beach, you do have the floating mat rentals as well. And they have a towel hut. So no need to lug your towels all the way here. Let's go check out Coconut Willies here on South Beach. So let's work away from the bar down to the beach area. 
And again, you'll see lots of loungers and umbrellas, completely complimentary for use, first come, first serve. Here's another perfect day at Coco Cay basketball court here at South Beach. While uh, South Beach is uh, pretty far removed from the two buffets at Perfect Day at Coco Cay, they do have a dedicated snack shack over here. So you can enjoy those same uh, quick bites, uh, complimentary, as uh, you found in the uh, Chill Island area as well. And these are the beach cabanas here available for rent on South Beach. How inviting is that water? Just beautiful. And then towards the very end of South Beach, you will find uh, more of the day beds available for rent. And at the far end of South Beach, you get to the South Beach Bar. If you don't mind getting a little wet to uh, go get your drink, they have this floating bar here on South Beach. Uh, it looks at maximum capacity right now, but uh, it's just a short little wait away. It's, a, you know, not too, too deep. So, from uh, South Beach, this is the uh, furthest point we can go at this particular time. But uh, there is something new coming to Perfect Day at Coco Cay, and that will be Hideaway Beach, which apparently is going to be a adult exclusive uh, venue, uh, maybe similar to Cocoa Beach Club, uh, but strictly adults only. That's supposed to be coming in the next, uh, I think, year or so. Uh, over here at uh, Perfect Day at Coca Cay, it's it is currently under construction, so it is pretty much fully committed at this time. So over here we have the uh, entrance to the Up, Up and Away uh, balloon, helium balloon. Uh, this can take you up to 450 feet into the air. Could be a great bird's eye view of Perfect Day at Coco Cay. So this is the launching area. There's a gondola on the bottom. And then they release these lines and you go up, 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 up. So one of the best places to cool off here is the Oasis Lagoon. And we'll go check that out right now. Thanks for watching our ultimate tour here at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Don't forget to like this video, post your comments and questions, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for more Talking Cruise.